morning, good morning to you, good morning to you. Happy Tuesday. Y'all, it's a little extra foggy out here this morning. Um, This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. So grateful and thankful to see this brand new day, y'all. I was just thinking about something. And um, someone asked me a question about what I do. Um, for those who have just, well, my, 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 my newest followers, I'm a transfer, I'm a neurotransformational coach. I'm an author. I'm a mother. I am a woman of God. I'm a teacher. I'm a student. I'm an entrepreneur of a, a few businesses. And um, why I got started? Well, when the pandemic first hit, um, I was sitting in my house like, God, like what what do I do? Like I want to do something. I want to make I want to make a difference. And that li that literally started before the pandemic hit. I was um following some motivational speakers like Les Brown, Lisa Nichols, um ET the Hip Hop Preacher, Trent Shelton, um a lot of people I can't think of right right now, but Lisa Nichols was the one that stood out to me the most. Because at that at that time, for me, I've never seen, you know, I, I have I, I never seen any women that were motivational speakers and transformational coaches. Like I don't know any. I haven't. I didn't see any. And when I was listening to her story, y'all, oh my God, it just was like I know that I know that it's possible for me because I see somebody that's just like me doing the doing doing it like excelling in it, thriving in it, a multimillionaire, just out here just changing lives. And I was like, I want to do that. So I began to follow her. Um, I began to attend events that she was offering. I hooked my caboose to her train, right? And I met other amazing coaches who I'm now in a program with. And this is really how I got in there. And um, so um, I, sent, I sent the person this video and it was Lisa Nichols. She was talking about, you know, what, you know, why she do, why, how she got started, right? And she tells the story, and oh my God, the way she tells story is, stories are like, oh, you feel like you're right there. It's like you are gonna get, you're gonna, she gonna cry, you gonna cry, you know. And it's so amazing. She just, she's just so talented. And she was sharing her story of um, when she was taking care of her son. Um, she didn't have money to buy Pampers. She had eleven dollars in the bank. And you know, some banks, you can't get no $11 out. You had no ATM machine, right? But she said she had to wrap her baby in a towel for about four or five days until she got some money. And she said she looked at her baby and she said, um, Mommy, um, I mean, Jelani, her, baby, her son's name is Jelani. I will never be this broke again. And she began to, you know, she she made it. She, she, she inconvenienced her life in order to, you know, go after her dream. She moved out of her house and moved in with a roommate who smoked and she put towels at the door because she didn't want the smoke to come in the room to her and the baby. She, in her closet, she made her closet of her office, put mirrors up so it can seem big. She would um, take her money and she did, she did, it was eating beanies and weenies and she was making homemade Big Macs, right? And she saved her money. She wrote herself a check. <clears throat> and, um, one thing, I don't know, ha ha however often she got paid, she wrote herself a check. And it was called funding your dream, funding my dreams, and she and she um, mailed the check to to Wells Fargo. She had that deposited for over a period. I forgot, like two or three years, she did that. Then she went to the bank one day. She wanted to see her balance, and they was like everybody was gathering around because they wanted to know who this lady was that was right these that was sending you know, funding her dreams. And what is the dream? And so they told they wrote down her on a piece of paper that she had sixty two thousand three hundred some dollars in her account. She was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, that, that ain't my account. And it was like, no, this is your account. And she said, oh my God. And um, then her son was like, mommy, can we go to McDonald's now? And uh, so it was funny the way she, you know, the way she shared it. But it, the, also, and she said that she um, she didn't want to open up the, the, she didn't want to open up the bank statement because she didn't want to know because she was taught that money burn a hole in her pocket. So she didn't want to look at it, you know. She said, nobody her, nobody in her family had $5,000 in, in their bank account, you know. So she just didn't know. She made a lot of money, but she didn't keep it all because she didn't know how to. She didn't know how to manage it because nobody never taught her, right? And so, listen. 
And there's so many stories that I can share about her, but that was the main one that changed my entire life. So yesterday, when I sent the person a video, I was like, you know what, I wanna look at this. Because I haven't watched it in a while, and I was like, oh my God, so I'm taking notes, y'all. Let me tell you what I do when I'm at work. <clears throat> because I have, I'm so blessed that I'm, I have an office job and I'm able to put my earbuds in and download stuff. So this is, this is my new book. I was buying the little, the little one subject spiral notebooks, but I go through them so fast, y'all. So um, this is my new one I just got started in. So I'm literally taking notes of the things that were standing out for me and to me. And I want to share with you this morning. Everything I need to get back up, I have in me. Everything you need to get back up, you have in you. Hurt people hurt people and sad people make other people sad. Don't take it personally because people love company. Most pe most want convenience of trans or transformation without the conviction. So let me share a little bit about that because when it comes to life coach, life coach, um, okay, then you have life coaches, you have transformational, you have all kinds of different coaches. You have informational coaches, and what sits, what not saying that one is better than the other, but for me, it, for me, I, I'm all about transformation because you can give people a bunch of information and they cannot do nothing with it, right? So for tra transformation, and she described it so well, transformation is me coming in the darkness with you, holding your hand, walking you out of the darkness. That's transformation, giving you the tools to help you live better, to do better, to be better, like giving you the tools, not just giving you a bunch of information because we get that all the time, right? I, that's why I love being a transformational coach. I see the, the, my clients that I'm that I'm coaching now. Oh my God! I see the transformation. I hear the transformation. And when I'm talking to them, I'm like, Oh my God! Yes, I love, love, love what I do. Okay, because you can you can only you can only be your best self by yourself, right? And so um, that's why I love coaching. And I and I have coaches as well. I have one reach out to me yesterday. Um, she is a I forgot a life coach I think. And she was so persistent, y'all. I had to tell her, I was like, I was like, yeah, you know, I feel like I'm a coach and I'm already working with coaches. And I was like, oh my God. So I was really trying to brush her off. I'm gonna be honest with you, I was trying to brush her off, but she was so persistent. I was like, girl, you got that, I said, girl, you got that persistent thing down pat. And I was like, all right. So um, she's supposed to send me her information so I can schedule a call probably next week with her just to talk to her and see, um, you know, how, how we can help each other possibly, right? So don't think that you are, you know so much that you can't you know, connect with somebody else. It's power and connection. It's so, we can go farther, we can go, we can go farther, faster together. Farther, faster together versus trying to do it by yourself. Okay, what else I got? The reason that people don't change, they're more attached to who they were than who they can be. Allow your conviction to inconvenience you, right? Allow your conviction to inconvenience you. This coaching, oh my goodness, um, when it comes to, you know, I, I signed up for a lot, a lot of stuff. I made uncomfortable investments in myself. And honestly, it felt, uncom it felt uncomfortable because I've never, I don't know anybody in my family who, um, who, who invested in themselves in their personal development and coaching, you know, and my sister. Um, but we really just got started on this journey. You know, I don't know anybody in my family that's that's doing what I'm doing, you know? So it's like, uh, I don't know. That's just how much that is. You got a payment plan? And they do. They do. It, it's, it's affordable. You, we, 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 here's, here's the thing. There's so much we can do. We just have to choose to do it, right? I'm quite sure you got some money that, that you just kind of throw away, right? And you do things that, you know, you probably could, if you would save that, you would have a whole lot more. So just, that's what I have, that's what I look at. There's a lot of stuff I do. I throw, I throw money away all the time. So why not throw it in, into me, invest in myself? So once I start doing that, y'all, I, I can't stop and I won't stop. I love investing in myself. I love learning, I love growing, and I love teaching others and coaching others. All of your success is on the other side of service. Hello? And that's what makes me feel like, oh my God, just helping people and hearing their story and seeing their seeing their transformation, y'all. It's just, it's so rewarding. It is. Are you willing to disrupt your entire life to fund your future? Yeah, I am. I will. I'm gonna keep doing that. When you get to the, when you get to the edge, your brain will tell you, get back. 
listen to your soul. Because if you jump, you're either going to fall, fail. Either way, you're going to get back up. All right? That's good. I was like, oh, that's yummy. And this is what this is what I'm this is what I'm doing right now. And this right here will change your entire life. Hang out with people that make you stand on your tippy toes. And you make other people stand on their tippy toes. Listen, I'd be like, ooh. You know, hang out with people that make you stand on your tippy toes and you make other people stand on their, on their tippy toes. It's zero distance between you and it. It, it will be, it, it will be, it, it is available for you. Money is just a, it's just money money just buys better memories right she's able to take her entire family on vacation right that's a goal for me one day right so that's why that's why i'm always on these videos that's why i'm always i'm always 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 consistent putting in the work it all starts with you it does you are your own rescue that's that's where i get that from lisa nichols you are your own rescue nobody's coming to save you you gotta save yourself you do and you can't pour from an empty cup you cannot. You got to fill your cup up. And this is how I fill my cup up, y'all. This is what I do. I'm in so many different programs. <laughs> so many different things. I'm taking courses, classes. I'm taking. And they want to sign up for more. Because nobody can't take that from you. Nobody. Okay, what else do we have? We're going to wrap it up. Be willing to love some people from a distance. Because some people does what are you doing? I mean, what's wrong with you? You know, what's going on? They're not going to understand it. And don't expect people to, to, to um, see your vision because God gave it to you, not to them. So be be okay with that, right? Be okay with people not 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 understanding, not um, supporting. <laughs> be okay with that, all right? You cannot be someone new doing the same thing you you've done. You cannot be a new person doing the same thing. I had to become a new person the day I found myself. I had to be a new person because the old the old person was not, it was nothing had nothing was happening the same. It's like I was in a cycle. I had to change. It starts with you. My freedom is I don't need you to like me. When I wake up in the morning, look myself in the mirror. I love you. I accept you. Right? Go on social media, looking at everybody else, comparing your life to everybody else. Listen, and and, and they wanted people. You like my picture? Do you like my picture? At the end of the day, when you wake up in the morning, and, and when you wake up in the morning, make sure you like yourself first, okay? Everybody else is a plus. All right. Very good. Your passion is not always something that you monetize. I know, right? Your passion is not something that you always monetize. You will find your best lessons in your biggest mistakes. Oh my God! If that ain't a word, you'll find your best lessons in your biggest mistakes. And this is this is the um this is the call to action. So a call to action is something that you do when it comes to transformation. When it comes to anything that Lisa Nichols does, any kind of program, she always gives you homework. And that's how you grow. That's how you change in you doing the work. Not just getting a bunch of information and you just you know sharing your information. Everybody sharing stories. Ain't no growth in that. Ain't there's no growth in that. The growth is in the action. So this is what I wrote down that she said that I'm gonna do myself. So get 16 blank sheets of paper. Write every lie you tell yourself. Get 16 sheets of paper. Write down every lie that you tell yourself. And leave enough space um, for the truth. <laughs> leave enough space under each lie for the truth. Because what happens is we tell ourselves these lies. I'm fat, I'm stupid, I'm dumb, I'm, you know, you tell yourself these lies, right, and then you begin to believe them, so I, I'm fat, I can, and then underneath, underneath, that I'm fat, I can work out, I can eat healthier, I can lose this weight, it, it, if it is to be, then it's up to me, right, that's, that's, that's the truth, then you go back and you erase the lie, right, because now you got to rewire your brain, a lot of us have downloads of what people have said to us, what we have said to ourselves, and we go throughout life thinking we have to live according to that. Does that make sense? Y'all don't want to know what's going on. Listen. But anyway, I think that, I think that, that right there, that's going to be, that's going to be a game changer. And it's going to be rough. She said, give yourself, give yourself at least three or four days. No more than that. that now you're getting into procrastination. You don't want to do that. All right. So that's just something I want to share with y'all this morning. That is why I got started. That is why I do what I do. I absolutely love it. And I want to get other people and just, we just have this huge community, this huge tribe of transformational coaches and leaders and speakers 
we are better together. Who do you know? Contact me for support, y'all. Anyway, I'm done. I'm complete. Y'all have the most amazing Tuesday.